the kids are off school. I struggled. I could just feel myself getting more irritable. I wanted to get out of there. You're starting big boy school, aren't you? Big boy school, what are you? It's like she forgets how to breathe from her mouth, so... Bit of a dilemma. Yeah. Man's got to work. Man has got to work. Luxury. Heavenly salad. I, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> show you my current quick easy makeup routine which I do in the height of summer it's quite basic but it makes me feel a little bit more put together I still focus on all my skincare and my SPF it's just a nice little layer which I'm going to share with you a lot of products probably haven't changed since I last did something like this with you but that's because I'm not forever buying new things all the time i pretty much like to use what i've got first before i buy new and then i'll either buy the same again if i love it or try something new such as this one i'm going to get this again because i've really enjoyed using this it's a dream yeah it's just been lovely so i'll put the exact name of this down below in the description box it's a really nourishing moisturizer for sensitive skin it's got absolute zero irritation so i've used this morning and night as like a base cream alongside other skincare products yeah some items probably won't have changed since last time i did something like this with you um but i'll show you what i'm using what i'm enjoying and we can just do a little get ready with me i wanted to check in with you when i had my morning coffee so outside on the swing chair but the cicadas i always forget the name of them cicadas the little bugs are so noisy at the minute honestly like silence is just non-existent lately the kids are also off school they've broke up for summer now so like all week i've been putting off doing my usual little shopping trips and even food shopping and stuff because in my head i've been thinking i'll wait till the kids are at school and then it's just like dawned on me the kids are off school like French school holidays are a lot longer as well it's eight weeks instead of six so um just gotta get on with it and take them with me you know so I'm gonna be looking here because that's where my mirror is set up so apologies camera's here mirror's here I'm gonna get straight into it I've already done my skincare so I've washed my face this morning and then I've gone in with the cream by the way I forgot to mention this one is the sensitive version and apparently the sensitive version is the best one because it's the original formula. So like I said, I'll leave the exact name or even a link if I can in the description box below, but it really is a gorgeous cream that. Uh, and then I've gone in with a very thin layer of the SkinCeuticals SPF 50, which I bought this at the beginning of summer. It's a pretty pricey SPF, um, but it's very good. No irritation. Again, it's great for sensitive skin and a little bit goes a very long way. So I've still got a good half in there and I've used this most days under makeup or just on its own and it's really lovely. So I'm just going to start with my makeup now. This has been a great product if you're going on holiday and you want something either for the daytime like a foundation but more skincare based it has got some spf in here it's spf 20 but like i say i still wear my strong factor underneath that's not enough on its own this is by aborian now i've had a couple of their products before not this one i've been using this majority of summer and i love it the only thing I didn't like about this product is that the first shade, which is the lightest shade, uh, is too light. And then the next shade, which is this one, there's quite a big jump between those two shades. And although this one is great for me at this time of year, in the winter, this is a bit too orangey. 
but um, I've got more colour in my skin at this time of year. So it's the Super BB Cream. It's lovely. It's not too thick and heavy, so it doesn't feel like a foundation on your skin, but it's also got that lovely coverage. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my fingers today because they are the best tools and I can't find my sponge. That's plenty. Again, with this product, a little bit spreads a long way. I'll pop this down in the description box below along with the shade that I'm wearing. Uh, and like I said, this is perfect for summer, but in winter, I felt like it was quite orangey on my skin. I even cover the eyelids because who wants pinky veiny eyelids and I take it right onto my neck and that doesn't feel horrible because it's skincare at the end of the day it's got a lot of good properties in here I have had their nighttime sleeping mask as well which I've still got and I use some nights it's the baby soft skin one it's lovely this is a really lovely brand. It doesn't give any irritation or stinging or anything like that. The only thing I will say about it is the smell. I'm not sure what they use. They use natural, you know, plant-based things, um, but it smells a little bit old lady-like sometimes. <laughs> I mean, that smell doesn't last. It goes, but um, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. But we don't mind that it's all about skin benefits so that's well rubbed in it leaves a nice dewy finish on the skin sometimes a little bit too dewy because of the heat i've got a lot of natural shine at the minute um so then i just go over with this product that lasts forever as well this is the laura mercier translucent powder in shade honey it just keeps everything looking as it is, but just takes that shine away. So I'm just gonna pop some Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow on, just a really natural shade. This one here, I'll link the color down below. I'm just gonna put it on top of my lids because I put the foundation or BB cream should I say on my eyelids sometimes you can get that crease that like creamy crease so that's just gonna stop that because it's just a hot summer minimal makeup look I don't want to look like I've got a ton of eyeshadow on so this is just a really natural awakening color brighten up the eye bought this the other day from the supermarket it's the lash paradise primer by l'oreal now i do like an eyelash primer i was using another one by l'oreal and it lasted forever i thought for and it's about time to get a new one i mean you're supposed to change your makeup every i don't know is it a year this one leaves like a little bit of a white coating on your lashes it's not clear. The last one I was using was clear. In fact, it's here. I'm going to chuck it away after I've showed you. Oh, this is a Maybelline one. The Lash, Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. That's what it is. And I used to use that as a primer, but that needs to go in the bin because I've had it far too long. So that's the L'Oreal Primer. And then I got the same Lash Paradise, but the waterproof mascara. Because I've got a lot of shine at the minute. I um, decided I needed a waterproof mascara to just to stop that transfer. There we go. Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Filmstar bronze and glow. And it's just a nice natural palette. I'm just going to use the bronzer on the cheekbones. And a highlighter just above. Then my absolute favourite blusher. Lasts a long time. Like I've used this every day for a long time and it's not even gone down yet. I use a nice like stubby 
brush just to get it right on those cheeks and it's just a gorgeous colour. I'll leave this one linked. It's shade Taj Mahal. It's the best. It's so glowy and has a lot of pigment in it. I just love it. Absolute favourite. This is a MAC one. I'm not sure on the name, but it's not my favourite. My favourite lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me one. It's just a gorgeous colour. Lipstick is MAC Shanghai Spice. Nice, natural, creamy colour. What else? I think that's pretty much it for my daytime summer look. Just go in with a little bit of coconut MAC fixing spray. And that is it. Lovely. Not too much. Skin's protected from the sun. It's moisturised. It's got all the goodness. But you've still got a little bit of a put together glowy look. Oh, I've not done my brows. You would have forgot something. Brow gel. Everything that I've used, I'll just link it. Yeah, we're just going to go with the uh, natural brows today. They're not great, quite wiry. There we go. Lovely. Time to fix the hair because this is exactly how I slept with a clip in. So it's probably going to be quite knotty because you know my hair is quite fine and knotty oh well look at that okay i'm going to give it a good spritz with the 25 benefits spray this is a good detangler so it was curly yesterday it's dropped quite a lot today but we're going to go with it and i'm just going to finish off with some uv protection spray there we go. Right then, time to go and get dressed. Around these kids up. I need to nip shopping today. I've run out of quite important things. Cotton wool pads, which is driving me mad because I'm desperate to do my nails. I also use my cotton wool pads for my cleanser. I've got a list of niggly things that's been winding me up. More of this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that from the uh, pharmacy in the supermarket, but I'm going to have a go. Then I need coffee. We've run out of coffee. I had the last one this morning. Remember this little area that I planted not too long ago? So we saved the wisteria from the other side of the house and we salvaged some roses out of the front border. Well, wow. Look at this. Completely took off. This one's flourishing. It's got loads of new heads coming down on the bottom and the top's been in flower already and this one is starting to already got new like shoots on there and climbing up the wall. Just this middle one that I'm not sure whether it's um, took off or not. Well, I've locked the door now. You'll have to unlock the door. Okay, which one is it? Yeah, I'm just not sure this uh, middle one has made it, but I mean, come on. Two out of three ain't bad. So I'm just gonna leave it till next year. If it's not done anything next year, we'll take this one out, but I'm so happy. So we went and got some bark the other day just to stop all the weeds coming up. So this is looking really neat and tidy. And then all this got weeded. I need to plant some more bits here, obviously, but for now we've just barked it. I've planted this little rose bush um, tree here. And we got this new topiary from the garden centre, a lovely curly one, but a little bit more hardy. It's like a conifer kind of, um, yeah, liking it. So that's neatened that up. And then here, I don't know if you can remember, but there was like a side, uh, a wooden hand bar all up this side. Well, we just pulled it off because I don't know, I think it was rotting, the paint wasn't staying on it very well because of the sun. And I like how it's just kind of brought this piece of garden, which was a little bit forgotten about. It now feels like part of the house. So all this obviously needs work and weeding and planting. I might grow something up the side of here. And this needs a little bit of repair now. It just needs um, patching up and painting. But I feel like I prefer it more 
more open. And then while I'm outside, I've got my little side of dressing room area, which I planted up. So I've got some jasmine, like I mentioned, I wanted some jasmine. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Look how pretty it is. So it's just creeping up there, goes in there. Hopefully it'll grow along here, which will be nice. And then I'm not sure what this other plant is, but I just loved it. I thought they went well together and I love how it like drapes and puddles over. So hopefully they'll survive in there. Still need my little lady statue, but I am really enjoying this area and as well on the night time when it starts to get dark I just put the little light on and it's all glowy under here it's lush hydrangea Annabelle I think it's called getting some good heads on it it's done really well I didn't know if these hydrangeas would survive because they really couldn't take the heat the other year but been really good at watering it this one is definitely um, better with the heat than this one so you didn't really go for a wee wee, you went to get your iPad, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where she went. Why do you need it in the car? We're going out. Because Steph had it. Oh, had it you naughty girl, naughty boy. I'm going to have a little float round here and get some bits. I've actually quite... What are you doing? I'm trying to get out. Wait. No, I'm trying to get I've, out. I've um, quite this. enjoyed shopping minimally lately, like just getting small amounts of shopping one because it's too hot to do massive monster food shops uh, and two I'm quite enjoying getting only what I need like a couple of days two to three days worth of food at a time and knowing what I'm making in the meals rather than being overwhelmed by the fridge and the cupboards so that's how I'm shopping lately and I've got some essentials on them. here go on what babe oh we've got um Seth's one. school one. list as well now, yeah. this is always a bit of a nightmare because we have to translate every single but I'm item, a good translate. books and stationery and everything like that because, here Seth, Seth, come here, let's tell everybody. What? Starting big boy school, aren't you? Big boy school, what? Yeah. You call high school big boy school. We went to have a little look the other day, didn't we? Yeah, you forced yeah. me to and I didn't want to go. He didn't want to go, he gets very shy in new situations. But, but we went for a look. There was no kids there, so he was happy. And, um, it yeah, it's like, brings back memories. You get all your timetable of your different lessons, different classrooms to be for different lessons, and exciting. I think you're going to thrive. I think you're going to love the routine of knowing where you need to be at what time and what you're doing you think i'm gonna what thrive What's that doesn't matter anyway we've mean? got the school list we're gonna try and tick a few off there because i've got a very busy summer guys i've got very i didn't mention as well massive. yeah i've got a very busy summer obviously i've got my birthday coming up where i've got six girls coming over to stay i didn't mention when that was as well i've got a little time to plan it's not my birthday is the first of all just checking if it had the school name on there he's excited to get his school stuff aren't you yeah i know you are oh there's a pharmacy over there a separate pharmacy let's see if they've got cream so many amazing skincare brands i use this um this is the micellar water that I use, this brand. But I don't think they've got the moisturiser that I'm looking for, unfortunately. Second pharmacy, looking for my cream, and I just stumbled across the Arborian range. There's so many of them here, and this is the one that I showed you earlier, guys. It's really good. They've got a couple of different ones, a couple of lighter ones, the eye ones, but that is the one that I'm enjoying. Well we are back from food shopping and this girl is cooling down in the pool. I missed her jumping the first time so she's going to jump in again. We've got a lovely clean, clean pool. pool. I know. We let it get in a bit of a mess actually because Ryan thought that he could um, maintain it all himself and it's actually quite a difficult full-on job. So mean? keep the water fresh all the time. So we've got a new pool guy anyway, and he's actually going to change it from a chlorine pool to a salt water pool. So that'll be much better, won't it? Better on the skin, and I think it's a little bit less maintenance. Are you going to jump in? Yeah. Go on then. I'm going to 
do the all pose. Oh, are you? Like, it does everything in the pose. Oh, lots of poses all at once? Yeah, Okay. It's going to be hard. Go on, then. Three, two, or oh, do you want me to say it in French? Nancy no, no, loves no, no, no. me talking French, no. don't you? No. She hates it. No. <laughs> Go on, then. Huh? No, not in French, in English. Okay, one, two, twa. <laughs> oh, I put her off. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Why? Oh, that was marvellous, darling. <laughs> I didn't do it because so of you. So good. <laughs> I got my bracelets on. You got your bracelets on that you got from the beach? Yeah. We still got all three of them on. Oh, oh God, yeah. I can't. Oh look. Come on then, I'll give you a second chance. You can do it again. Yeah, and don't say the twa like twa twa this time. Okay. I got it in my nose. One, two, three. <laughs> what was that? Was it good? Oh, it was amazing! Oh, they did so many poses all at once. No, you only did two poses at once. So good. I did that one. And I did this one. Yeah. Is it nice and cool? Back from food shopping. Actually been back a couple of hours. Just got... I've only got a couple of bags you now, but I've got it put away. It was a struggle. <laughs> it was just one of those afternoons. I got there and the battery on my camera ran out, so I didn't get a great deal of footage. We seemed to just spend forever and a day at the stationery section because we get a list from school which tells us everything that we need and it's a long list. Obviously it's French, so we have to translate every single item and they're really specific as well they're like an a4 book with a certain size square and then one with a smaller size square so it took forever didn't quite get everything because i was like come on kids i need to actually get some food and i could just feel myself getting hotter and hotter it's like my pms week ladies so i struggled I could just feel myself getting more irritable. I wanted to get out of there. I had a small list and then I just wanted to grab some food as well. And honestly, I'd even forgot something off my tiny list, like cotton wool pads. And I was so desperate for cotton wool pads because I really wanted a bit of a pamper night tonight and just do my nails and things like that. So I might call Ryan to grab some on his way home from work. Um, but yeah, sometimes for me, when it's approaching that time of the month, sometimes it's an absolute breeze and it just goes by no problem. And then other times, like 10 days before it's due, I'm just like, ah, and I just crave the worst foods. I crave just sugar and naughty, disgusting carbs, all that good stuff. And that was winding me up in the supermarket as well because I could see it all and they had all the fresh bread and the fresh bakery and I just wanted it all. But I'm like angel and devil because obviously some of you will know that I have had to really tighten my diet lately. Um, I do the anti-inflammatory diet for my back mainly but it also has so many other benefits for me. Um, so this time of the month is the hardest to stick to it, but one side of me is like, give yourself a break, you know, you do on, just let your body tell you what it needs and have the treats and enjoy them, stop being so hard on yourself. And then the other side of me is like, no, you don't actually need them, it's just your brain telling you that it wants them, and if you do have them, it's just a short-term pleasure like it'll feel nice while I'm eating them and pigging out and whatever but then I'll have a ton of back pain and I'll feel like I'm back to square one I won't sleep on an evening I'll get major inflammation I'll be even more ratty it'll make me feel like it's gonna take me ages to get back to where I was 
so it's just like that so anyway the decision was come home put the small bags of shopping away and get a lemon water and cuddle my dog so that's what I've decided to do I'm trying to battle the cravings because it just didn't work it um, anyway rambling on I'm gonna chill here for 10 minutes I'm gonna then go in the kitchen and start preparing tea I'm gonna make another fab salad that I've discovered which I love every time I find a really good one which is quite filling but tasty and summery and I share it with you so I'm going to make that with you Ryan will be home let's have a look a couple of hours ish maybe an hour maybe two hours we'll see oh you're like a little barrel you're like a little hot barrel that's exactly how I feel today why are you so cute? You. I love you. Don't get the snorts. No. No. Anyone else's dog get this? It's like a... It's like she forgets how to breathe through her mouth. So, what I do is make sure she's really calm. And then we just cover our nostrils, like so, and remind her how to breathe through her mouth again. And that's what we do, don't we? Hey? And then she has to just stay calm for a second, otherwise she'll forget again and get in a real mess with herself. Honestly, it's like she forgets to breathe through her mouth. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Not again. Is that better? Yeah. Ah, Mmm. Look at my fig tree. It's got so many figs on it again this year, which makes me so happy. They're amazing in salads, like fig and goat cheese salad I mean this year I'm going to have to be careful and not consume quite as many figs as I did last year because even though they're natural they're still full of sugar but I can't wait for some fig and goat cheese salad look at these let me grab this bench and show you like just look how many's on there just on one branch it's going to be another great year. They're like one of my favourite fruits, I'd say. So here we have tonight's salad ingredients, which I'm going to talk you through. Now, this is a really satisfying, filling salad. It's got loads of good fats in here. It's a really good combination. You know me, I love a good contrast. So I'm going to talk you through all these ingredients. So we have got, ignore my portion sizes, by the way, I've said this before, I don't follow the correct portion sizes, but I will leave the original recipe with the correct portion sizes in the description box below in case you want to try it. Now we've got chopped up spring onion in there, quite a lot, we like to smell good. We've got chopped up celery, we've got three different types of chopped nuts, so we have got pecans, walnuts and almonds chopped there quite a decent amount i mean there's over half a cup of walnuts probably the same as pecans a little bit less almonds because they're not my absolute favorite but combined in the salad they're really lovely and um, then we've got goat's cheese that to go on top at the end we've got cranberries oh by the way these nuts they're not salted or sweetened or anything they're just as they are and same goes for the cranberries they're just plain cranberries and um, then for the sauce now i've got to make two sauces because ryan's got a mustard allergy and this sauce has got mustard in and i want the mustard in mine because it's a really nice contrast so we've got creme fraiche we've got mayonnaise these are two different types of mayonnaise because like i said ryan has to have his mustard free some moutard um, mayonnaise then we have got the mustard and then we've got very finely chopped 
dill. Now this is quite strong if you've not tried it before, it's got a real kind of aniseedy taste. So if you're a bit funny with flavours, just go easy on the dill. I've used like, I don't know, double, triple uh, to what you're supposed to, but I've bulked up on pretty much everything to be honest. And then we're also going to combine some chicken. Now I cooked this earlier. We've got the chicken there. I just need to finally slice it. I just put this in the oven for like 20, 22 minutes-ish and it's just been cooked in butter, olive oil and this. This is great. It's like your proper rock salt and it's got all your herbs of Provence in there. It's gorgeous. Let me show you. Look at that, very French, love it. So yeah, that's what I cooked the chicken in. Oh, hello darling. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Sure? Shouldn't be running about with no shoes on, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna pop all the ingredients together in this big bowl. So we've got the celery, the spring onions, all the nuts, so the pecans, the walnuts, and the almonds. This is a very nutty salad. Super good for you though. I'm now going to add the cranberries. Now, I'm going to go quite easy on these. I'm going to put probably a half a cup in and you know me, I bulk up so I could go even more but these are obviously very high in sugar which I don't cut all sugar out, I just stick to natural sugars but I still try and keep them to a minimum so I'm just going to put a decent sprinkle in it. That's it. I'm going to leave it at that. sliced up some of that lovely chicken which is now going to get thrown in there. I've done three chicken breasts because you know me I like to bulk up and then it stays in the fridge for a couple of days and it's just like a help yourself job. Okay, now to make the sauce, I'm going to make the original sauce with you and then I'm going to do the separate one obviously for Ryan which is exactly the same but just contains no mustard. So here's the original sauce, plenty of mayo, and then we want plenty of creme fraiche. decent amount of mustard, a bit more than that, some of that fresh chopped dill. I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon as well to that actually. There we go. Mix it up. Watch. one. I'm going to actually put more oh, really creamy that one. Too creamy to chop actually. You can obviously add whatever cheese you want. You can use blue cheese, feta, whatever you like. Obviously just 
tweak these salads to your liking, that's all I do. dilemma. Yeah, I'm starving. I really want to eat some of this salad now because it just looks so good. But I also want to eat with Ryan when Ryan gets him from work. So what I'm going to do is make myself a small portion now. Just sit outside and enjoy that. And then I can have seconds when he gets him from work. Another small portion. So that's what I'm going to do. of my mustard dressing on there. Mix it all up. Ooh, look at that. It's just the best. That tastes like a really luxury, heavenly salad. Perfect for me for this time of the month. Honestly, it's a real treat, that is. It's like Caesar salad, but better because it's got your little contrasts. We've got a bit of fluff on the camera. Has that been annoying you? Oh, don't say that fluff's ruined all my filming. Anyway. Mmm. I'm going to enjoy this. Finally, he decides to come home and join me. Man's got to work. Man has got to work. But he did come straight in and pour me a vodka tonic. Mm. Didn't you? Is this a zero tonic? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One won't hurt, will it? No. Definitely need it today. You picked the right day. So, I've made you one of my salad creations, hun. Really? I won't tell you which one it is. I hope it's not the one with the soggy broccoli. <laughs> right, the first time... <laughs> that I made the broccoli salad, the one with um, broccoli and pineapple and garlic. The first time I made it, I cooked the broccoli, okay? Not supposed to cook anything that goes in a salad, really, apart from your meat, obviously. So yeah, it was a little bit soggy, but I knew the flavors were there and I knew it was worth a second go. So on the second time that I made it, it was really good. And then the third time I decided to share it with you lot. So, no soggy salad tonight. No. Very noisy. Mm. You must yes. get that a lot now. That's the uh, cicadas. How cicada. do you say it? Cicada. Is it cicada? Well... You say cicada, I say cicada. Cicada? I, do you know what? No matter how many times I will check Google to see how it's pronounced, I know how it's spelt, but I always forget how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure it's cicadas. 
Sick Last this. year I think I was calling them <laughs> sick of this. Sick of this. Because I'm sick of this. And that's how I remembered it. And then once I remembered it like that, I couldn't get that out of my head. So I think it's cicadas. Is it cicadas? Yeah. Cicadas. Shop that look. Yes. No one's talking about They're me. the males, you know, scouting the females. Of course, the males always have to put the effort in. Yeah. So um, it always is. Um, the pink skies are gradually on the way back. Yeah, it's getting too they late. They start summer, now, and then I think we have the best pink skies in about October time, like end of September, October, mm. I think. Yeah, if I remember a right. Wonderful month to visit if you ever come September, October. Not but October, but I would say it is. Well, yeah, it's always good. You've got a chance of rain in October, but I still think it's an amazing month. Personally, <laughs> my favourite months here, heat wise, are May. Which was boiling this year. It was this year, but it's not rain. usually that hot. So April, May, because it's hot but not unbearable hot and um also September is really nice because it's like late summer, you've still got people holidaying but it's not stupidly busy, it's more chilled vibe and just nice heat, you can still go yeah. on the beach in your bikini but it's, like it's not scorching, it? it's lovely, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go and, Ryan's having chips with his salad, I'm going to go and check on your chips and dish your salad up, hon. Lovely, can't wait. There's more if you want more. Um, I, I think I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. But thank you, as always, for spending the day with me. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Sending loads of love. Bye.